factoring out the GCF. So to factor out the GCF, we want to look for the greatest common factor. So, you know, the idea is you could literally factor completely the number into a product of the prime factors and then the variable, that means that there are three factors of x. And for the next one, 15x, the number 15 has factors of three and five, and then there's one factor of x. And you're looking for all of the factors in common, and for this one, the only thing in common is x. So this is literally how you could write everything out, but at some point you want to be able to just do that mentally. Compare the two numbers, there are no factors in common, and then look for the greatest number of factors of x in common, and there's only one in common. So the GCF is just x for that one. Okay, for this one, we're asked to actually factor. And so, let me just copy it here. What we wanna do is factor out the greatest common factor. So it's kind of the inverse of multiplying. So we wanna look and see what does nine and 30 have in common. Nine is three times three, and 30 is three times 10, 10 is two times five, so that's three times two times five. So there is a factor of three in common. And then let's look at the u's. There are two u's in common. There are two x's in common. And there are no y's in common. And so again, we wanna think about three times what would give us the nine here, and it would be three times three gives us nine. And then u squared times u to the seventh gives us nine factors. And x squared times x to the fourth gives us the x to the sixth. And then there's a minus sign. And then three times 10 gives us the 30. And u squared, we don't need any more u squareds. We don't need any more x squareds, but we need a y to the seventh. Okay. So again, you could check that this works by multiplying you multiply this times the first term, and you multiply this whole factor times the second term, and you would get that.